2011, we started with just four members who had dreams in our eyes. To help young people like us thrive in workplaces that few like us had ever tried. Help the youngins be a bit more wise to what lies in the world of engineering. Help them make ties and realize the opportunities that could help them fly or drive. But what we didn't expect was 40 corporates to throw in to help the youngins take their dreams quite literally beyond the sky. I'm really just here to say thank you. Thank you to the people that have given us a chance. Thank you to people like Dennis Pinto, who back in 2012, we met for the first time and he has supported us ever since. I hope that we can build that welcome, that we can build relationships and we can establish a city which is, I hope, like few others. One of the best things about being a part of even the process, we're getting to meet great engineers who are doing things in the industry and each one making their chat making their mark and trying to create a better environment. When I started engineering, to be honest, there weren't many engineers who looked like me and there weren't any engineers who were I could see and I found the AFBE. Just want to encourage anyone else, you know, to go for it and and you know, hopefully follow in my footsteps. Next next year's your turn. I only came for a night out, but <laughs> This is the icing on the cake. Even being nominated for this award has allowed me to even um, push myself a bit harder and say, what else can I do and how, what, how else can I influence others to be successful? Thank you to AFP and thank you to all the wonderful leaders who are here and all the companies who have supported and are supporting. Because one of the key things here is it's not just the change which we bring in our workplaces, it's the change we bring in our society. And there's a long way to go, as all of you will agree, that as society we still need to change. Now I'm, uh, I'm proud to be here this evening and stand in front of you uh, as an active anti-racist in an organisation that is getting better and better at respecting and embracing the whole you at work uh, and, and really allowing us all to express our individuality. I am grateful to God Almighty for this opportunity. I'm grateful my husband is here with me this evening. <laughs> In our conception of the company, we've always looked for excellence. And excellence is not about race, it's not about gender, it's not about your politics or faith, it's about the people that can do the best job. And we found this through our company that regardless of who you are, where you come from, if you're good enough, you're part of our company. We're on a journey and we're taking another step forward on this critical, important journey, that journey of hope. You know, it's good when you see young people become something. Um, the ones that sat at the back of the room thought they couldn't do anything. That, you know, the teacher turns around and goes, oh, they've got this, they've got this job that, you know, if it wasn't for you, they would never have gone for. So thank you all so much. I've been Lady T, your host, and uh, have a great rest of your evening and safe journey home.